Hi kids, how are you today? That's great! Today, we are going to read words, phrases, sentences, and stories with vowel digraphs such as A, A, E, E, U, and O, and vowel diphthongs such as OI, OI, AU, and AU. And this is based under the most essential learning competencies of grade 3 English under week 4 of the 4th quarter. Are you ready? Let's do this! Let's pull up the next slide. But before that, let's have a short review of what you have learned last time, which is the artistic ways to present information. The first one is role play. Next, show and tell. Next, dialogue. Next, radio play, podcast, broadcast, and reporting. Next is graphic organizer. And number six is poster presentation. All right? Now let's move on to our main lesson. We have vowel digraphs. When we say vowel digraphs, these are two vowels that when placed together generate one sound. This includes double vowels like the long U in moon or short U in foot. Now, other vowel digraphs are formed by two different vowels like A in rain or O in boat. Alright? Let's have the examples. We have A as in A-I and A as in A-Y. Now let's have the words. We have for A-I, we have tail. Pink, snail, rain, claim, hail, paid, wait, train, drain, daisy, and mail. Now kids, beware of the A sound. Alright? Now, for A, as in A-Y, we have lay, bay, clay. Sway, play, pay, may, hey, tray, and day. Alright? Now we also have digraph E as in EA and E as in EE. -E. Now for E as in EA, we have it, meal, read, leaf, ice cream, please. Bitch, pitch, meat, sea, grease, and beans. For digraph E, as in EA, we have free, ship, street, slip, green, sneeze, sweet, sheet, cheese, and cream. Now let's have digraph O as in OO and digraph O as in OA. For U, we have stood, cook, wool, books, shook, took, hook, nook, foot, look, good, and wood. Now for digraph O as in OA, we have boat, float, grown, coat, raincoat. Soap, goat, toad, load, and coach. Alright kids? Now let's have diphthongs. A diphthong is a sound made by combining two vowels, specifically when it starts as one vowel sound and goes to another, like oi or oi sound in oil. Examples are oi as in oi and oi as in oi. We also have ow as in ow and ow as in ow. Alright? Now we have the diphthongs oi and oi. 
Now for oi as in oi, we have coin, boil, soil, point, and noise. For this song, oi as in oi, we have toy, joy, boy, anoi, and soy. Alright kids, that's great! Now let's have the diphthongs ow as in ow and ow as in ou. For ow as in ow, we have cow, powder, tower, and now. Alright? Now for ow as in ou, we have pout, house, noun, and shout. Okay? Well done, kids! Now my question is, are you ready for activities? Great! Let's do this! For activity number one, directions. Read the words in the box. Use these words to complete the sentences below. For activity number two, match the pictures on the left column with the phrases on the right. Write the letter only. Now let's have activity number three. Complete the word using diphthongs and vowel digram. Use the pictures as clues. For activity number four, read and understand the story. Now remember kids, when we say vowel digraphs, these are two vowels that when placed together generate one sound. This includes double vowels like the long U in moon or short U in foot. Now other vowel digraphs are formed by two different vowels like A in rain or O in boat. For diphthongs, a diphthong is a sound made by combining two vowels, specifically when it starts as one vowel sound and goes to another, like the oi sound in oil. Now let's have the examples. You have oi as in oi, oi as in oi, ow as in ou, and ow as in ow. Alright kids, now you take picture of your answers and you send them in our English classroom. Okay? Great! Now, that's all for today, kids. Thank you for listening. Have a good day. Goodbye!